Hi, I'm Padmaja, 32 year old. So this April, uh, I came to know that uh, that I'm diagnosed with a kidney failure. So before that, it was all normal. Suddenly, it's happened. Uh, I'm a mother of two kids. I don't know how to take care. Like suddenly, I started um, feeling very weak, and um, uh, doctors told it is because of the autoimmune. I am Dr. Deepak Jayaprakash Kaddu. I am a kidney transplant and robotic surgeon at Manipal Hospital Whitefield. So we uh, came ahead with this patient, uh, Ms. Padmaja. Uh, she came all the way from USA flying to India uh, to the Manipal Hospital. She is a known case of chronic kidney disease and it was referred by Dr. Vishnu Vardhasan, nephrologist at our place. So when patient came to us, we explained regarding uh, the there are two ways of doing this kidney transplant. One is a traditional open kidney transplant and the newer methodology that is robotic assisted kidney transplant. So we as a team of Dr. Deepak Dubesar's team, we are quite experienced in robotic assisted kidney transplant. We have done more than 30 cases at HL Road Manipal Hospital. They trusted in us and we went ahead with the robotic assisted kidney transplant and the results were excellent like uh, immediately as soon as the surgery was done the kidney uh, was functional and the urine output was very good and uh, patient was discharged after the, uh, five to seven days uh, thereafter uh, the patient uh, is still continuing with the good urine output there are no complications giving the details about the outcomes of the robotic assisted kidney transplant we have carried a study which, in, uh, which includes uh, more than 250 robotic transplants and more than 130 open kidney transplants. So as per our result, it shows the robotic assisted kidney transplant has better renal functional outcomes and even the surgical time is taken less with added benefits of cosmesis and uh, earlier recovery and less pain and lesser complications. So function, the most important finds renal functional outcomes are slightly better in uh, robotic assisted kidney transplant compared to the open kidney transplant. I would be very grateful to Vatikuti Foundation and uh, Dr. Kishor T.A. sir because uh, uh, Vatikuti Foundation only enrolled me for the robotic fellowship after which I got trained in more than 70 to uh, 80 cases of robotic transplant over a period of one year uh, during my uh, robotic fellowship through the Vatikuti Foundation at uh, Dr. Kishor T.A. sir's place. So I am very grateful to them because uh, this training uh, and this technique might change uh, the protocol of kidney transplant from open to robotic. It is coming up slowly in a way but uh, some centers in Bangalore are coming up. Our technique is slightly different from the, the hospitals, other hospitals but we found the technique is good and uh, it will it is reprodu easily reproducible and it will may in future it might replace the open kidney transplant in a big way provided the insurance companies and the um, the finance part is taken care throughout this uh, journey uh, it took uh, very smoothly so we are happy about that i can feel that uh, my wife is uh, having a lot of confidence now going to be lead the life very successfully. I'm very much thankful to Manipal Whitefield to provide us this opportunity of using the robotic surgery. And uh, patient, we told the patient that this can reduce the stay, hospital stay for the patient and also incision will be smaller, recovery will be, recovery will be faster and also the pain will be less. I'm very glad I, I choose uh, Manipal Hospital. So uh, I'm very thankful to my family uh, like who are there, supportive in this throughout the journey. And uh, I'm thankful to Manipal management, doctors and uh, the team, everybody. Thank you.